Welcome to my house. My beautiful 2016 F-150 4x4 with 10,000 pounds of towing power. Affectionately named this rig Truckee. I realize now saying that out loud how lame Truckee sounds. But this was stuck, so Truckee it is. Let's go check it out, huh? Here is the inside of my truck. Nice and messy. I am undergoing renovations, kicking myself out and upgrading. But wanted to show the inside before that happens. So here I have a platform bed that super simple plywood. It's open in the middle. Platform bed is awesome for storage underneath. A foam mat that I covered with fleece. A waterproof mattress cover layer in it. Fleece is amazing. It will repel water. It won't stink after time. Highly recommend fleece. And then this is just a memory foam twin size mat from Walmart. And as you can see, I triple layered to make it less uncomfortable laying on the plywood. Here I got some of that, you put it in your kitchen cabinets, I think. I glued a bunch of this on to help the foam mattress not roll around as much. I wouldn't say go out of your way to actually do it. It didn't really add much value to it. Cut the foam mat into two pieces, sliced in the middle so I can open it up like a door and access the stuff inside underneath. I am not handy and I managed to do this, so you can do it too. Just lifts up. It's very heavy. That's the only thing I don't like about it, but it works. All right, and then looking this way, I just cut a piece of the plywood from making the bed and made a shelf. Um, it just sits on top here of these screw posts that hold the topper down. I just drilled a little hole on this side and it just fits on top. I just screwed this in so it, oops, sorry, so it doesn't lift up. Um, I put floss in there. And then I just got some dowels and had a hanging shelf so I could keep stuff right next to me here. So these are all screwed in. Thermometer is really good to have so you know if you're gonna kill yourself or not. 100 degrees in here, thanks Florida. <laughs> Bungee cords are awesome, you need them. Especially in the truck bed, you already have your hooks. Help hold your stuff down when you're driving because it will move. On this shelf, I had attached it's another one of those things you put in your cabinets, I think. Uh, it helps, I would put my phone on here and stuff, kind of same with this crochet mat, uh, so it wouldn't just slide off because it's not very level. This fan uh, has saved my life many times. It's just a clip-on, uh, rechargeable, and it lasts forever. I haven't charged this in months. Let's see if it turns on. And it turns on. Yeah, and just more hangy storage stuff. I'd keep a headlamp in here if you gotta run out of the truck real quick at night. I don't have it up right now, but you can see the remains of a screen. I had Velcroed here. I took it down when it was winter time and I put up some Reflectix instead to cover the window. This rug is a runner rug I got a deal on. It was free. And I just cut it around the wheel well. And it helps with insulation a tiny bit. And also helps trap dirt as I come in and out so I don't have to sweep these, uh, you know, if you don't have it, this is the plastic liner and stuff obviously just gets stuck in here all the time. So that's good to have. So uh, having the bump up topper is huge though. Um, being able to sit and not hit my head. Uh, standing is my next adventure, being able to stand when I'm parked in a location. So that's gonna be huge. I'm really excited for that. What is happening? I am sweating so hot in Florida. Wait, here we go. Uh, much better. This is the truck. 
So car camping, everyone should do it. Everyone should have fun with it. I couldn't afford a van or build things, so all I did was build a platform bed and a shelf, and you're good to go. Well, that's a wrap. I've shown you the inside of my truck. If you want more details about exactly what is in there, please check out my WordPress site. Man, I miss this coat. Don't I look fabulous? So fly. I know it's not perfect, it's not glamorous. I enjoyed it. And I'm still here to tell the tale, so I must have done something right. <laughs> and get yourself a wool coat. Especially one with shoulder pads. <laughs>